Mitral Valve Prolapse The mitral valve apparatus has four major components. The annulus is the circle of fibrous connective tissue on which the anterior and posterior valve leaflets are mounted. Chordae tendinae connect the leaflets to the anterior and posterior papillary muscles. Myxomatous degeneration of the mitral valve disrupts structural integrity and increases the laxity of the valve leaflets and chordae tendinae. This can lead to mitral valve prolapse, which is abnormal displacement of the valve leaflets into the left atrium during valve closure. Prolapse is often accompanied by regurgitation. With contraction during systole, the left ventricular cavity size progressively decreases and there is a critical point when the leaflets become overextended and prolapse into the left atrium. On physical examination, this point is recognized by an audible click caused by the chordae tendinae snapping taut. Changes in left ventricular end diastolic volume affect the timing of prolapse. Maneuvers that decrease left ventricular volume increase the available slack in the valve apparatus, causing prolapse to occur earlier in systole. Maneuvers that increase left ventricular volume decrease the available slack in the valve apparatus, causing prolapse to occur later in systole. In some cases, the increased volume may be large enough that the critical left ventricular size is never reached and prolapse no longer occurs.